after that sort of dramatic finish, um, what can you say after that? Well, we're obviously bitterly disappointed having got a good foothold in the game, being 2 0 up at home at 87 minutes to to then concede two goals is 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 upsetting. Credit to their player, I thought he scored two great goals, um, but we're disappointed because we know Ilias, uh, Ilias Cherry chops on his right all the time. He's always so predominantly right-footed, and we know he wants to get on his right. And to be fair to Neil for the first goal, we've held him and held him and held him and we just needed, you know, we had pressure on the ball, you just need cover to come and slide across and stop the shot and, and it didn't happen and then he then does it again with an even better goal. Um, so that's really disappointing from our perspective, two good, good goals and credit to their player but disappointing from us in terms of defensive structure and he, to be fair to him he could have then he did it a third time, didn't he, if it hadn't been for a great save from Grant. So we need to go away, we need to to look at those moments definitely but I think we need just to reflect on the whole performance because we first half was difficult because the, it was quite a strong wind and it was a low the sun was low um, so it was difficult but it took us too long to to get a foothold in the game I thought we probably did by about 30 minutes and then had some good moments going into half time it's disappointing that, that John Akindis is over the line but the, the decisions are not going with us at the moment which we have to have to swallow um, we come out second half with more intent. We get a goal in the lead. Um, you know, if you want a, a fair reflection on it, you know, I'd have been disappointed from their perspective with the, with the first goal because the ref linesman's got his flag up. And even though he's nowhere near offside, not even, not even close, it's a bizarre decision. He has got his flag up and they stopped and we exploited that. And I suppose you say that you've got to play to the whistle, but. Um, it, I would be disappointed if I was them. So I think, I think we have to be fair when we're when we're when we're summarising. Um, and then a great goal from Bruno gave us a two 0 lead, and we actually played some good football from there on in. Probably should have been more clinical and found the third. We weren't, and then we can see the two goals that we did. Those late two goals aside, you were, were you not too happy with the performance anyway? No, I thought Bruno had two great moments that got us in a good position in the game. There was too many that didn't play well. Um, and there's been a couple that have been un underperforming for a while now. So we need to, like I said, go away. It wasn't a time to shout and scream after the game or to throw the teacups. Um, we need to draw breath, some quiet reflection. Um, Everybody needs to be really honest with themselves and take responsibility for their performances. And then um, come Monday, we need to do what we do best, which is come back fighting. Mm. And that's what we intend to do. Going back to those late two goals again, sorry, but I suppose it's game management's the key, isn't it? Is that, is that the key thing you're looking at? Or well, do you have to give some credit to Shah because it's a bit of individual brilliance from him? Yeah, they would restricted them to no shots in our box. So they had no shots, although Elias really Chair had about five or six good attempts and he was a real threat all afternoon, which we knew about. Um, but we had clear strategy to stop that and try to delay and get the sliding defender, the cover defender to come across. And so then you almost get 2v1 and stop and, and are able to block the shot. But but we didn't do that and, and unfortunately we paid the price. And, Listen, the players are players, yeah, they don't do it on purpose, they're human beings. Um, but it it was disappointing and, the, you know, I have to be honest and I thought it was what Stephen has deserved. I thought they deserved at least a point from the game and I didn't think our performance, barring two, minute, two moments of really good play from Bruno and then some good play once we got 2-0 up, I didn't think warranted three points. Um. We know you've got great characters in the squad. This will be a, a test of that character, I guess, won't it? Yeah, I think so. I think so. We've um, we've drawn the last four games, which has been frustrating. Um, we didn't quite get the mindset right today. We, I think, too many play with the shackles on in the first part of the game, um, and it took us to get two 0 up to get confident, and then um, we got really negative again towards the end, which was which was frustrating and again something that we've got to look back on collectively because you know you always win together and you, you 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 lose together and on this occasion you draw together so um 
Well, Gaga Y would be really, um, really intelligent in our reflections, really demanding of ourselves, and um, try to come back stronger for for, for this disappointing experience. <laughs>